Welcome to the step-by-step -step installation guide for your new lolly wrap. Before we start, you will need a few common household tools and items to assist you. You will need a roll of any common household tape, for example, packaging tape, painter's tape, or scotch tape. If you are doing this installation by yourself, no problem. But before you start, you should prepare six four-inch strips of tape and have them ready to use and within reach. You will also need a tape measure, ordinary scissors, and a straight edge along with a marker. Poles less than eight feet in height will require some minor trimming of just the foam padding. Now let's proceed. In your package, you will find two four foot sleeves along with a roll of pre-measured high density foam padding. Once you unroll this padding, you will see it has a perforated tearing mark, just like a paper towel. This allows you to easily separate it into two evenly measured sheets. Now let's start with the first sheet. It's 48 inches tall and 31 inches wide. Hold the long 48 inch edge of the padding to the pole, making sure it is parallel with the pole. Use some of your pre-cut tape strips now to hold the padding in place. The padding should easily wrap around the pole twice. Hold temporarily in place with the remaining pre-cut strips of tape you prepared earlier. Now measure the remaining upper section of the pole. In this part of the installation, you will see that we need to trim a small portion of the padding since the remaining upper section of the pole is less than four feet. Remember, it comes in four foot sections. With a straight edge and marker, trim whatever is needed to accommodate the remaining upper section of the pole. Once you have done so, Proceed and wrap the remaining upper section of the pole just as you did the lower section. Step back and now your pole is covered from floor to ceiling with your foam padding. Now remove one of your two pre-curled sleeves. Open it up and place it around the lower four foot section of the pole. It will practically wrap around the pole by itself. Remember to have the edge of the sleeve with the tape overlapping so it can be sealed closed. Cinch it up snug against the padding with your hands, making sure the seam is even and parallel with the pole. Hold it in place with one hand while lifting the overlapping edge. Start peeling off the tape skin and pressing down as you go down the edge for a secure bond. Now take the remaining sleeve, open it up, and go right over the lower sleeve and slide it up like a telescope until you are flush with your ceiling. In addition to the tape on the overlapping edge, there are two other strips of tape on the inside edges of each sleeve along the bottom and top, so it doesn't matter which one you use first. When you've determined the proper height of the upper sleeve, gently reach in and peel the skins off the top and bottom of each sleeve and secure it to the lower sleeve to lock in at your desired height. This tape is very aggressive, so be sure to have it where you need it before you lock it down. Once secured to the sleeve, it is difficult to peel off to correct any misalignments, but can be done. However, the adhesive qualities the second time around will be slightly compromised. Now you can step back and look at your beautiful new lolly wrap pole cushion safety cover and feel a lot better when the kids are playing or when opening your car doors.